We are nowhere near as close to being as smart as we think we are. You know that golden telescope we humans built? It's taken some mind-blowing pictures of space. Right now, it turns out it's so powerful it might have just shattered our understanding of the universe. The universe witnessed a stunning cosmic expansion before the Big Bang, doubling in size at least 80 times in a fraction of a second. Because of this tremendous inflation, the cosmos became barren and frigid. That's when the cosmos stopped growing in size, and the vacuum energy transformed into matter and radiation, ushering in the Big Bang's era of intense heat and density, forging the elemental building blocks that would eventually coalesce into the galaxies and stars we see today. Now, for the first time, the James Webb Space Telescope has peered into the distant past of the universe, and we have made a discovery so unexpected that it presents challenges to our understanding of the cosmos. What was there before the Big Bang? And what is it that the James Webb Telescope has uncovered that has shocked everyone? Let's find out. There was a time when the universe did not exist. It was created. The Big Bang, which created the universe and everything in it, occurred around 13.82 billion years ago. Our Milky Way is one of around 2 trillion galaxies that formed from the expanding universe's cooling debris, which are essentially islands of stars. Scientists were dragged kicking and screaming to the idea that the universe may simply appear out of nothing. The evidence, however, is hard to ignore. Galaxies are disintegrating like cosmic bullets. The Big Bang's afterglow is still rather warm, extremely dimmed by cosmic expansion. This afterglow is mostly detected by radio astronomers as microwave radiation dubbed the cosmic background radiation in 1965. Where exactly did the Big Bang occur? A stick of dynamite detonates in one spot, and shrapnel shoots into space as a result. The Big Bang did not occur at any location because there was no center and no previously existing void. The fabric of space-time itself manifested and expanded simultaneously in all directions. The universe is commonly compared in astronomy texts to a rising cake with raisins standing in for galaxies. Like the Big Bang, the expanding cake causes the raisins to spread apart and leave no one point of expansion. However, unlike the universe, which may theoretically go on forever, a cake has a boundary. The analogy could not be more flawed. The inflationary vacuum existed at the time of the Big Bang. Its energy increased linearly with its volume, doubling when it doubled and tripling when it tripled. If banknotes were like this, you could rip apart a stack and find endless amounts. Inflation is known as the ultimate free lunch by physicists. The inflationary vacuum grew bigger and bigger, however, it was a quantum issue. Additionally, quantum phenomena are inherently unexpected. Parts of the inflating vacuum decayed at random all over it, becoming regular, everyday vacuums. Imagine little bubbles growing in a huge ocean. The inflationary vacuum vanished inside each bubble, but its vast energy had to go somewhere. It was used to produce matter and heat. It resulted in the Big Bang. In the infinitely large inflationary vacuum, our Big Bang world is simply one among an infinite number of such bubbles. All of this began with just a kilogram of inflationary vacuum. The laws of quantum theory make it possible for anything like this to materialize seemingly out of thin air. In what ways does the Big Bang theory fall short? It is without reasonable doubt that the universe was extremely hot and dense at its inception and that it has been steadily expanding and cooling ever since. To accommodate various observations, however, cosmologists have had to make adjustments to the theory. To begin, according to the Big Bang theory, the expansion of galaxies is driven by the attraction of matter. However, if this were the sole process taking place, their formation would take a lot longer than 13.82 billion years. To account for this discrepancy, astronomers postulate that unseen dark matter has amassed six times that of the visible stars and galaxies, hence increasing the rate at which galaxies develop due to gravity. Also, according to the fundamental Big Bang theory, the expansion of the universe is slowed by the gravitational attraction of galaxies, which functions like a web of elasticity. However, in 1998, astronomers found evidence that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. They resolved this by speculating on the presence of dark energy, which is imperceptible, fills space, and has an adverse gravitational pull. The reason why the universe keeps a constant temperature throughout requires one further adjustment to the fundamental hypothesis. 
In order to explain this, astronomers propose that the universe initially began as being smaller than anticipated before experiencing an extremely rapid expansion in its first split second, or inflation. This was caused by an inflationary vacuum, which is a highly energetic variation of the vacuum that is already present in space. Suppose the Big Bang wasn't the first thing that happened. What then was there? And in yet another of its many successes, the James Webb Space Telescope has sent back a stunning image of that tiny location, unlocking previously unknown information about the Big Bang. The telescope's aim is to discover light from the first stars and galaxies, and it was launched on Christmas Day in 2021. The main goal of Webb is to identify the let there be light moment after the Big Bang when stars and galaxies first began to form. The potent $10 billion telescope, which has been in development for 25 years, is seen as the 32-year-old Hubble's replacement. Since its successful deployment, it has taken magnificent pictures of galaxies that were created just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang and moments before a star dies. Webb has taken the first direct image of an extrasolar planet. It has been used to capture stunningly precise photographs of the Tarantula Nebula, a region home to hundreds of newborn stars previously unseen by humans. The telescope has also revealed new hidden stars and the fine structure of enormous clouds of gas called the Pillars of Creation. The recently released image shows NGC 346, an object that is part of the Small Magellanic Cloud, SMC, a dwarf galaxy that is only 200,000 light-years away from Earth. As is the case in many regions of the present universe, NGC 346 was already well known as a nursery for young stars. These regions are known to have lower concentrations of metals and other elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, which causes them to create stars more slowly than at cosmic noon. The development of stars is aided by the heavier elements that make up space dust. However, due to their low metal content, present star-forming areas are assumed to be largely dust-free. They still produce stars, just not as quickly as they did when they were forming at cosmic noon. However, web scans of NGC 346 showed exactly the opposite of what was anticipated, massive dust clouds that hastened the creation of stars. As opposed to the small Magellanic Cloud, a galaxy at cosmic noon would have thousands of NGC 346-like areas instead of just one, according to Margaret Meixner, the study's primary scientist and author of the new image. But even though NGC 346 is now the sole major cluster in its galaxy that is actively generating stars, it provides us with a fantastic opportunity to investigate the conditions at cosmic noon. The abundance of dust in NGC 346 supports the hypothesis that galaxies during cosmic noon were similarly heavily covered in dust, thereby providing a close-up artifact of the early universe. Additionally, it implies that NGC 346 may be creating planets in addition to stars by accreting them from swirls of metallic dust. If such is the case, it indicates that Earth-like planets may have originated at the same time as cosmic noon, considerably earlier in the history of the universe than previously thought by astronomers. It is indisputable that the new web image is another stunner from a machine that has been in orbit for just over a year and has done everything its designers and mission planners have asked of it. This is true regardless of the chemistry and stellar physics at play. The stunning image joins a growing collection of breathtaking cosmic panoramas transmitted to Earth by the telescope. In addition, the James Webb Space Telescope has allowed scientists to peer back into the cosmos's infancy, where they made a surprising discovery, six huge galaxies that existed between 500 million and 700 million years after the Big Bang that started the universe. These galaxies, discovered by the Satellite Observatory, have completely changed how scientists think about galaxy formation. These objects are much larger than anyone anticipated. When looking for galaxies in this early stage of the universe, scientists expected to find only tiny, young, newborn galaxies. Instead, they found galaxies as mature as our own. The telescope uses infrared light to examine the universe, as this wavelength, undetectable to the human eye, can pick up the faint light emitted by old stars and galaxies. By gazing into the faraway universe, the observatory can look back in time to around 13.5 billion years ago. What many believe to be established science has been upended by the discovery that massive galaxy formation started extremely early in the history of the cosmos. These objects, colloquially dubbed universe breakers, have thus far lived up to their moniker. The findings challenge 99% of existing models describing early galaxies, as the discovered galaxies are so enormous. According to the prevailing idea, 
galaxies began as little clouds of stars and dust that developed over time. This discovery casts doubt on our understanding of how early galaxies formed. It's also possible that the galaxies found with Webb's data are something else. Scientists caution that this is our first glimpse back this far, so it's important to keep an open mind. While the data suggests they are probably galaxies, there is a chance that some of these objects could actually be hidden supermassive black holes. Regardless, the quantity of mass uncovered indicates that the known mass of stars at this moment in the universe is up to 100 times more than previously assumed. This shift is remarkable, even with a reduced sample size. There are many potential reasons for earlier misconceptions, including the possibility that early star formation was significantly more efficient or that cosmic dust played a previously unappreciated role. Astronomer Allison Kirkpatrick of the University of Kansas wonders if the dust in these galaxies might deceive Webb into thinking the stars are older than they truly are or if cosmic dust was just different in the past. Meanwhile, the telescope has recently verified the discovery of the oldest known galaxy. This record, however, may not last long. Astrophysicist Brant Robertson, who contributed to the discovery as part of the JADES team, anticipates finding even more ancient galaxies. Webb's most ambitious mission, the Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, led by Robertson, has already located a galaxy more than 33 billion light years away, which formed just 320 million years after the Big Bang. Robertson's team has discovered two galaxies from a time when the cosmos was only 2% of its current age. Despite being 100 times less massive than the Milky Way, one of them is forming stars at a rate similar to the Milky Way. Erica Nelson, an astronomer at the University of Colorado Boulder, leads a team investigating five enormous galaxies that may have grown too quickly after the Big Bang. Nelson notes that if these findings are verified, they could undermine a fundamental tenet of our understanding of the universe's birth. This telescope continues to provide discoveries that challenge our expectations, and our conception of the universe will likely evolve further in the coming years. Webb, which might last up to 25 years, has demonstrated unparalleled capabilities. Scientists like Alyssa Pagan and Joe DePasquale work to convert Webb's infrared data into visible light photographs, allowing us to appreciate the universe's grandeur. The telescope also offers unprecedented clarity near the epicenters of supernovae, stellar explosions that produce heavy elements like the iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones, and the oxygen we breathe. Webb reminds us of how much we still don't understand about the cosmos. For example, dark energy and dark matter, which make up nearly all of the universe, remain enigmatic. The discoveries made by Webb challenge the standard model of cosmology, the leading theory about the universe's origins and composition, forcing astronomers to reconsider their understanding. While some galaxies seen by Webb align with predictions from standard model-guided simulations, others don't. Scientists are eagerly awaiting new spectroscopic data to refine their theories. It will likely take at least five years to adjust to the new universe revealed by JWST. Thank you for watching this episode of. Be sure to click on the video on your screen for more mind-blowing content about space.